Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well and enjoying this glorious sunshine we've had over the last couple of days. So today um, is the beginning of my weight loss video. Um, this is something that I'm dreading, but it's something that I need to do. Um, I'm going to be weighing myself at my first time in the gym. Um, so I'll do that on the next video at the beginning to show you what we're um, sort of starting with. Now, today I'm going to be going up to Guy's Hospital, as uh, as I mentioned before, with my kidney stones and um, stents, etc. I've got to have some blood tests taken um, and swabs and whatnot, uh, ready for tomorrow's surgery. So um, I would say I'm looking forward to it. I'm not, but I am at the same time. Um, at least I'm going to have uh, my kidney stone situation sorted. So I'll be in hospital from tomorrow morning. Um, I'm hoping I'll get released on the same day, but they're saying that I'll probably be in for... A day or two um, so that will take us to towards the end of the week so ideally I'd like to start the day after I come out of hospital um, but it might be on the Saturday so worst case scenario it'll be Saturday and um, that's what I'll be looking to do um, I'll take my weight I'll do my weight to give us uh, my starting point when I'm in the gym um, and uh, yeah I have just recorded my uh, measurements so um, I look like a right state, which is the whole reason for this whole uh, video uh, or the whole weight loss series. Um, to be honest with you, I was pretty disgusted um, and disappointed with myself over the years, but that's the whole point of this uh, weight loss. So although it's a bit embarrassing, it gives me the motivation to um, actually change my uh, body shape, um, weight, and just generally live a lot healthier. So um, here's the measurements and yeah. So we're now gonna do the measurements. Um, I'm going to do it in centimetres and inches and I'm going to start off with my neck first. So that comes up as 16 inches, approximately 41 centimetres. So next I'm going to do my chest. So approximately 41 inches or 104 centimetres. And next is going to be my stomach, belly or Pirelli tyre, whichever currency you use. And that is 43 inches, approximately 109.5 centimetres. And then I'm now going to go for my waist. So, so I'm 42, uh, 42 inches or 106 and a half centimetres. And my fire. Is essentially twenty four and a half inches or sixty two centimeters. So there's the measurements that I'm working with. And let's go and do the weigh-in. So, as you've just seen, um, not great figures or great, not great numbers. Um, embarrassed to say the least, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, this is going to be my biggest um, point, or you know. The biggest I'm going to be. Hopefully, I'll get those numbers down quite a bit. Also, I don't know what the my weight is yet, and I won't know for a couple of days when I actually start doing the exercises. Um, so, my goal is going to be um, if I'm, you know, at 100 kilos, my ultimate goal to start with is actually to lose a third of my body weight. 
Um, I'm not going to put any time constraints on that. I want to average at least a kilo a week um, in weight loss, I assume. Normally watching things like, you know, the biggest loser in America and the biggest loser Australia, what's quite common with weight loss when you actually start getting into it is your first week is generally uh, the biggest uh, is the biggest number and then uh, you'll have a couple of weeks where the numbers may not seem like it's doing much so I'm expecting that and then steadily declining over a period of time so the ideal goal is to lose if I can I want to lose three kilos in weight in the first week uh, which won't sound a lot um, and then you know if I can at least um, lose or even stay as it you know stay, for the following two weeks if i my weight stays exactly the same i won't be disheartened um but and then on average i want to lose a kilo a week thereafter so the first uh, first um end of the first week hopefully it will be a three kilogram or more weight loss and then that will buy me if you like two weeks of staying exactly the same that will give me my average of one kilo a week so you know it over the course of uh, three months, that should give me an average of 12, 13 kilos in weight loss. And then, you know, in six months again, that will give me um, hopefully around 24, 25 kilos, which will be, I'm expecting around about between a quarter and a third of my body weight. So that's over the course of a six month period. Um, but let's see what happens if I can get it down quickly. I don't want to go drastically. I'm going to eat correctly. I'm going to do the exercises. Um, what I don't want to do is like starve myself just to make a, a weight. Um, and then, it, you know, it's not going to be healthy. So um, I need to do it slowly but surely. I'm setting small goals. Um, and yeah, I'm going to plan my diet over the course of um, week by week. And then, yeah, plan, plan my uh, fitness regime as well or exercises. So at least I've got a goal um and i've got an outline of what i am actually going to do so um i suppose there's no time like the present eh um i will catch up with you soon if you want to watch me and my progress um then please feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on so at least you're alerted to all of the videos uh, also if you want to make a comment uh please do so if you want to give me any advice if there's any dietitians out there or uh, any personal trainers anything like that that can give me any form of help or encouragement then please get in touch um yeah um i will see you all in the next video